Hey YouTube. All right, today we again have my Walther PPS and 9 mil. But what I'm going to show you is uh, the trigger lock. This trigger lock is from Seneca Gun Sports. It says Seneca right there. And uh, it's exactly the same as every other trigger lock, be it master, uh, master lock, or anything of the sort. So first off, we're going to do a quick safety check. However, because I do have this trigger lock on, I can't get to the magazine release. So we're going to do it this way. You can see the follower of the magazine, nothing there, and nothing in the chamber right there. Do a physical inspection. It is empty. Now, as you can see right now, my cocking lever is very far out because this trigger lock is still on and it actually has the trigger depressed. So let's take this off, slip the key in, and slide it apart. Now the trigger's cocked, cocking lever's red, decock it. So there are a few things that I really do like about this and a few things I really don't like about this. Um, one of the things that I do like, it obviously guards the trigger. Um, the way it goes in, like this, it sits on the actual trigger itself. So the trigger cannot be cocked, as you saw the cocking lever was out way back here when, the, when I pulled the slide back. The trigger cannot really be cocked, therefore it can't be fired either, which is really good. The second thing is, it does have a key lock. And this key lock I keep hidden away, um, so no one but myself can get to it. And this is much better than the lock that, that uh, Walter Smith & Wesson gives you, which is the one that goes down through the ejection port, through the mag well, out the bottom, and then loops back around, which keeps your spring slid open. But that's okay. Uh, not many people use those, so mine's still brand new in the box. But I do not like... How big these are. If I put this together, even put all the way together, it is huge. It is not a small lock. I mean, it's a good three and a half inches across. Now, why why would that make a difference? Well, because I don't want to put my gun in a safe with a trigger lock on just like this. You know, just lay it in the safe. I don't want to do that. So I wanted to put it in a holster, which is one of the reasons I bought my Uncle Mike's IWB holster was to actually store the weapon. But that doesn't work, and it will never work, just because of the fact that this is way too big. Let me put it on and show you that it makes the weapon, you know, it makes the weapon quite wide. So I can't put this in a holster. I also can't put this back in the Walther box. So I really have nothing to do with it but wrap it in this towel. So this towel is actually what I keep in the safe with the weapon so I don't mar the finish. And I don't uh, accidentally take my night ciders out of there before they finish drying, which should be today or tomorrow. They should be dry. Uh, so another thing I don't like is how hard these are to get together. So I have one half here, now the other half in this finger. I'm going to put it on and hold it with this finger in the right spot. I'm going to take this and I'm going to attempt to shove it in, but you can see I have to really work with it until it finds its center. Take the key out, push it together, and you can hear the click. Ready? That click means it's locked in, it's tight around my trigger guard, I can't move it, I can't twist it. And one good thing I really do like about uh, the Walther PPS and a trigger lock is the fact that it has no magazine button here or here, but it has the magazine lever. So I can't get to it, I can't release the magazine, which means I can't, I, if I wanted to, I could keep this magazine full, I'm not going to, but I could keep this magazine full, lock it up, and be absolutely sure that nothing could happen. You can't, you can chamber around, but it's not going to fire. 
but you can't release the magazine either, so you can't take my magazine out to get to my ammunition. Which is a good thing, bad thing, if you're in a if I'm in a time crunch and someone's in my house and I have to go to the safe to get this, this is gonna suck. So I'm going to uh, invest in a in drawer safe uh, this holiday season and put this in an in drawer safe without the trigger uh, lock on it. So other than that, using the trigger lock is relatively simple to take off. Put the key in, turn it, pull, done. Both sides are off, trigger's unguarded, cock it and go, very easy. Um, just, I just don't like, don't like how hard it is to put back on. That's just one of my pet peeves, I guess. Um, I got this lock from Seneca Gun Sports, obviously, because it says Seneca right on the side of it. I think they charged me, I want to say, eight or nine bucks, probably I think it was nine dollars they charged me for this gun for this trigger lock, and that's not bad. You can have master locks for about fifteen brand new. Um, I chose not to go with the master lock just because a trigger lock's a trigger lock, unless it's made of the cheapest plastic in the world. They're all gonna pretty much work the same, and so I just chose this one because I was a little tight on cash after dropping money on this bad boy so I really hope that you guys use a trigger lock instead of the stupid magazine well lock that comes with the weapon uh, those aren't as safe as this are much easier to cut through uh, they are much easier to destroy to snap the lock off uh, keep your key well hidden and keep your gun safe at all times. Please remember that gun safety is your responsibility and I am not responsible for anything that happens with your trigger lock and you, your trigger lock and your gun. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the Seneca gun uh, trigger lock and um, you guys have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Thanks!